everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i hope you have been enjoying your sunday and preparing quite well for the week ahead now we're going to be talking about the tropics of course we're looking at the infrared satellites here and we can see that there is quite a bit going on out in the atlantic to the well to the southwest of the cabo verde islands we've got a couple of troughs out there and so we also see that front which extends from mexico all the way through parts of the eastern u.s and out into the atlantic and so uh with that there is some inclement weather being induced across sections of the u.s some areas have been experiencing some heavy rainfall even some flooding and severe weather as well and uh well we want to talk about this area out here a bit more let's zoom in so it is currently sustaining some convection because it is in the environment which allows for that to happen i mean it's in the tropics waters in the tropics are pretty much warm all year round but also there's not a whole lot of dry air within the area so as a result it's actually trying to sustain some activity and we want to watch it as it drifts toward the west and by the way the euro model is showing something very very interesting so let's get on with it uh we're going to be taking a look at the run from both gfs and euro later down in this video but this is a look at the current dry air map those areas of yellows oranges and reds indicate the dry air and the more vibrant we see these colors the more dense that dry air is so we can see that across much of the caribbean portions of the gulf even over in the eastern pacific it's very dry and as a result the environment is pretty much stable so there's no major weather system in the caribbean right now but in the vicinity of that trough we're not seeing where much is going on right now as it relates to a whole lot of dry air and filtration and it is actually marked right now as we take a look at this surface chart here of the different weather systems out there there we can see those broken lines uh, those broken orange lines they represent where those troughs are located and so looking at the caribbean right now it's been a pretty sunny day for most of us even windy as well with a couple of showers moving through sections of the eastern isles of the caribbean and also we see a bit of convection going on over in the yucatan there is a trough within the area there as well so that's helping with some instability to result in those afternoon showers and thunderstorms across portions of mexico but again for most areas it has been a rather hot and sunny day windy for some of us as well and in terms of the rainfall forecast this this is for the next week and i want to highlight some of the drier areas so across portions of the northern islands such as uh, anguilla saint martin saint Barthelme, seba saint Eustatius, even for parts of the virgin islands going towards sections of the bahamas cuba the cayman islands some spots in jamaica portions of venezuela and colombia potentially for the abc islands as well and especially along the eastern uh, pacific coast of portions of central america there may not be a whole lot of rainfall as we head through the week similar story for parts of florida as well some other areas are experiencing the contrary of a lot of heavy rainfall and just offshore from northeastern south america we could see quite a bit of rainfall activity again those troughs will continue propagating toward the west now i want to show you guys what the models are showing first up is gfs and by the way the euro is showing something very very interesting could it be hinting at some sort of development i'm really not expecting anything to form at this point in time but it is not impossible i even made a video on it on my second channel where the extras and speaking of i posted my latest video which delves into the possibility of seeing a large seismic event a large earthquake in the caribbean uh with all the recent shakings going on so you can go ahead and check that out the link to that is pinned in the comments down below so this is gfs all these green areas they represent the precipitation rate and this goes out to tuesday december so Tuesday of this week, there's that area of high pressure and winds within a high pressure system rotate in a clockwise fashion in the northern hemisphere. So we've got those trays coming in from the east, blowing toward the west, bringing all that moisture with it. But there is a front out there. So this is as we head toward Wednesday evening. There we see all that moisture outside the Caribbean and uh, offshore of parts of South America. And then we see all that activity kind of moving to the northwest as that front makes its way out. And then eventually we see that moisture uh, not to be in anything too densely organized or a whole lot of rain within the area. Now, Euro is showing something interesting, as I said. This is as we head out to Sunday, the 10th of December. There we can see all of that activity. Uh, we want to zoom into the Caribbean here. This is Tuesday, the 12th of December. There's that front, but with a trough combining with the tail end of the front, 
that could result in some crazy rainfall activity across portions of the northwestern Caribbean. And take a look at those black lines. They're called isobars, by the way. When we see them in a circular manner, that is representing that we could see some sort of development taking place here. And this is actually looking very interesting to me. But then as we head out to Wednesday of next week, the 13th, we see that this kind of looks quite disorganized. And usually once these fronts pass, the wind shear increases and there's a lot more dry air. So eventually, if we should have something trying to consolidate or just a concentrated area of a lot of moisture, then the increase in shear and even all of that dry air would just cause it to become more disheveled and eventually dissipate. So in terms of seeing development, I'm not expecting that at this point in time. But again, we don't need tropical cyclone activity to see a lot of heavy rainfall. Potential tropical cyclone 22 was a prime example of that, that airflow pressure, that trough, which induced a lot of heavy rain in portions of Southeast Jamaica, as well as the Dominican Republic, claiming more than 20 lives, unfortunately. So we'll definitely have to keep our eyes on what it will be happening later in this month. But regardless, as we head later in December, going towards January and even February next year, with these fronts dipping further south, and they will likely induce some inclement weather across sections of the Caribbean. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted as per usual. But the takeaway is that we've got that area out there, lots of convection going on that may continue to drift toward the west. And in the long term, we could see a rainfall increase in portions of the Caribbean and even near northern South America as we saw earlier on that rainfall forecast map for the next seven days. But that is it for right now and I hope you found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.